Good morning, Madison, Brianna, and Emily. When you come back, I'm back. It is nice to be back vlogging. So today, I'll talk about something that's a bit worrisome to me, and that is the West's ignorance of Africa. So as you guys know, I really like to read the news. And so today, as I was going through my normal news pages, um, I saw a lot of the same things, um, like Palestine's bid to be in the UN and the protests in Egypt. And so I really didn't think there was much else going on in the world that warranted uh, attention. But I was really wrong. In my international politics class today, my professor brought a major situation to my class's attention um, and that is what's going on in the Democratic of the Congo. Um, currently, M23 rebels have um, taken over a city called Goma and it's about a million people um, in the city and the rebels are about 2,000 or 3,000 people, allegedly. And the Rwandan government is allegedly supporting these rebels and so you may ask, why does this matter? And isn't the Democratic Republic of the Congo unstable and basically a failed state? Well, it isn't known for stability, but it does have a significant amount of power in Africa. I mean, it has a, a decent-sized economy, has a larger population than France and the United Kingdom, and it is more rich. So, the M23 rebels are mostly supported by the Tutsi race, and there is fear that this could easily degenerate into a full-scale genocide if the United Nations doesn't do anything about it. So. Yeah, it, it matters. The UN is still deliberating about what it should do in the Congo, um, which is fine, but here's the thing. The Western world really isn't paying attention to what's going on there. Um, I'm going to show you the news sources that I usually read um, in, the, or th in the morning and throughout the day. So... As you can see, there really isn't a lot of mention of the situation in the Congo. Much more attention is focused on the protests in Egypt. Don't get me wrong, the protests in Egypt are important too. And because the West is so focused on that, we very well may see things change there um, in the near future. The way I see it, media attention is a strong catalyst of getting things done. A lot of the Western media didn't pay attention during the Rwandan genocide either, and that was a mess to say the least. The weird thing about this is that a lot of the Western world seems to really regret not caring more about the Rwandan genocide or doing more about it or giving it more attention. So my question, and I don't have the answer to this, is why don't we care about what's going on in the Congo? If we have the power now to potentially stop this from getting worse, why aren't we? I think it's an important question to consider because, honestly, if you think about the news headlines that you see in general, there isn't a lot about Africa. And, I mean, yeah, okay, so it's not the most stable region, but neither is the Middle East, and that's all over the place. And I think it could be argued that the reason that that is so prominent in Western news media is because we care about oil. And there are a lot of things in Africa, more than just oil, there are minerals and people and economies. And by us not caring about that, I think that sends a really strong message um, that we only care about things that, you know, directly benefit us and we only feel bad about them in hindsight. So I don't really have the answer to this. This is really more of a discussion video than an educational one, but I I just don't understand why we don't seem to care. Um, Madison, I will see you on Friday.